is Tiffany Fisher inside Ramapo Athletics. I'm here with Men's Indoor Track Athlete of the Week, Jamar Pierce, and Men's Indoor Track Rookie of the Week, Joey Weichel. Jamar and Joey earned these NJAC honors after traveling to New Haven, Connecticut to compete at the Yale University season opener. Jamar placed seventh in the field of 51 competitors in the 200 meters with a time of 22.75 seconds. Joey, in his first meet of his collegiate career, competed with Jamar and members of the Roadrunners 4x400 meter relay, which placed second in the field of 13 teams, clocking in at 325.39. The performances by both of these Roadrunners and their 4x400 teammates currently ranks as the best Division III time in the event this season. So congratulations on the both of you guys. So Jamar, at the Yale meet, you ran both the 200 meter and the 4 by 400. Do you usually run more than one meet, um, more than run event? Uh, yeah, definitely. We, I run at least two events per meet, and the coaches really emphasize the fact that we're going to do that because when championship meets come up, we have to be prepared to run more events to score more points. So last year you earned All-American honors and were ECAC champ in the 4x100 relay. What is your strongest event? Uh, my strongest event is actually probably the 400. But, uh, you know, again, you know, it's really a blessing just to be an all-around runner, you know. I know you ran the, um, the lead of leg. Is that the lead that you prefer and are most comfortable with? Uh, yeah, most definitely. I've been running the lead off leg since I got here to Rampo, and Coach feels like that's the best place for me to be. So Coach Jackson mentioned that you are much more committed to the team this year. Does that mean that we ex that we should expect big things from you? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Going to nationals last year was a big confidence boost in my career, so I feel like you know this year we can the sky's the limit. You know? Thank you, and Joey. The meet at Yale was your first of your collegiate career. How was the transition from high school to college as a sprinter? Uh, well, the transition was rough, I guess, but that uh, applies to all athletes. Um, there's a lot more demanding things in college compared to high school, where in high school you can focus on um, your specific sport without really putting that much precedence on academics. But um, in terms of being a sprinter, I don't really consider myself a sprinter. Uh, I think an all-around athlete. I can run anything, anything coach wants me to do. I'd be more than willing to do it. So, you know, the thing that I was talking about with Coach Jackson was that you didn't really expect to run the 4x400 relay on the A squad team. So can you just, you know, tell me a little bit about that? Um, yeah. I, well, I wasn't projected to run with the A team, but I feel you always have to be prepared no matter what. Uh, specific circumstances arises in track. There are injuries. There are um, just certain factors that make people not able to run. And the next person always has to step up and be prepared. Were you surprised to take second place with the best Division three time so far this season? I just ran my hardest. I know all my teammates ran their hardest. I know Jamar ran his hardest. Um, so with that being said, I don't think the time would be that surprising. The best in Division three at Stonkin right now, but we want to go above and beyond and break records. Well, thank you both. And inside Ramco Athletics, this is Tiffany Fisher with Jamar Pierce, who was named NJAC Indoor Athlete of the Week, and Joey Weichel, who was named NJAC Indoor Track Rookie of the Week.